been waiting for this moment for a while now. Sorry, just... Didn't expect it to hit me like this. I'm all emotional and shit. Told myself I'd keep it cool, you know? Told myself I wouldn't do no fanboy shit like this, but I'm sorry, dude. I just have so much respect for your ass, it makes me all... Yo, what's that word those weird-ass hostages use for this shit? Verklin. That's it, Verklin. You... Well... You like a hero to me. A hero I did wrong, not gonna lipstick that pig, but it was a turning point in my story nonetheless. And something tells me it was a turning point in your story too. Javi, make our guest here more comfortable. Ah. We're on the second floor of a three-story walk-up. Two armed dopes and a crazy meth head who thinks he's Deepak Chopra. He only exits the front door, but I seem to remember there's a fire escape in the back. I'm not thinking about an escape plan right now. Escape is the only fucking thing we should be thinking about. Not until we find Krista. Kiddo, need I remind you about Dominican Psycho over here? Krista was just bait. Now she's probably dead. What we need to find out. I just need to get him doing what he loves to do best. Talk. He'll tell us what we want. No! You gonna say something? It's been a minute. How the fuck you been? The truth is, I'm, I'm a little confused. You came looking for me two months ago. Why'd you wait until today to make your move? Well, if you must know, I had to prepare. Set the stage for our meet. This shit is bigger than Frost Nixon, you know? <laughs> I had to be ready. Ready for what? For you, bro. You a formidable adversary. You ain't no corner bitch I can stick my dick in. Need to buy you dinner first. That what this is? Dinner? Shit, nigga, you trying to make a metaphor. Yo, V, I thought you said this kid a genius, bro. Swear to God, if you don't shut the fuck up. How about we just cut the bullshit? Can you tell me why I'm here? After our unfortunate parting of ways, I had to return back home to the DR. I hadn't been back there since I was little. When people didn't think much of me, it actually reminded me of a dream I used to have, that I would one day own that island, that the very land everyone walked on, slept on, fucked on, would be mine. So that land, this looks like it's gonna be a long one. Except, there I was, back in the DR, all those same motherfuckers who didn't believe in me. I said I wouldn't amount to nothing, but this time they was wrong. I had tools now, I had vision I didn't have before, so I started hustling. I set up shop. A couple of corners here and there, first in my own. Then a few other niggas got a press, joined in. A couple of block battles. <laughs> Nothing we couldn't handle. Matter of fact, it was easier than ever. And like a virus, we multiplied. In 43 days, I took down every gang. From there, it was easy to get to the politicians, especially with five nine pounding their wallets. Once that domino fell, we took control of all the favelas. Both the Dominican and Haiti. I was running everything and everyone 
from the president to the campesino. And by day 87, I finally had my own island. Then, on the 88th day, I got bored. I had everything I ever wanted, but all I felt was emptiness. One day, Javi over here brings me this crazy old shaman who says he can help me. So I says, I let him in. He set my ass down, prepared me a cocktail of this powder, pink powder, red blood mixed in with titty milk. He looked into my eyes and said, you're asleep. It's time you wake up. Then held the cup to my lips. You want to know what I did, Elliot? I gulped that shit down. And then, I just got to be real with you, bro. I shit myself. Then I puked myself, back and forth. Back and forth, shitting, puking, till all the shit and puke poured out of me. The shaman then takes my face in his hand, says, it's time for you to go home. I didn't know what to think. I told him I was home. And then it hit me why I was feeling empty that whole time. Home isn't where you from. It's where you're supposed to be. I was born Dominican. But here, New York, this is my home. This is where I thrived. And there I laid. Well, he been like a bitch telling the shaman I can never go back. I failed there. That path was closed to me. Shaman shook his head no. Told me I had to reopen that path. That I had to reconcile with the man who closed it. For he was meant to be my partner. Then and only then can I go home again. That's why we're sitting here right now, Elliot. That's why I came back. I own the wrong island. I'm gonna take over New York, and you gonna be by my side when I do. So what you think? Where's Krista? You want me to partner with you for anything? First things first, I need to know where Krista is. You forget we played this game already? That's why I'm asking. <laughs> now that I think about it, this was Isaac's knife. You remember him, don't you? My brother? This is probably the same one he did your girl Shayla with. No one here wants to see no rerun, bruh. You're not gonna kill Krista. She's the only thing you got over me. Can't believe with all that enlightenment, you come back here to be just as stupid as you were last time. Stupid? Last time we did this dance, I got everything I wanted, didn't I? You didn't get me.